Cześć, ja nazywam się Kamila Żak i jeżeli nie wiecie, to zajmuję się promowaniem edukacji na rynku brytyjskim, brytyjskiej edukacji oczywiście. Teraz zbliża nam się intake na, na luty, kolejny na kwiecień, gdzie mamy przede wszystkim kierunek, który się nazywa Business Management i jego, jego odnogi. Jeżeli zastanawiacie się, czy warto jest studiować Business Management, to zapraszam do odwiedzenia mojej strony internetowej, Facebooka oraz YouTube'a nie jutrzejszym, ponieważ wrzucimy tam filmik razem z moją koleżanką Kasią i gdzie przedstawimy Wam plusy, może też i minusy kierunku, jakim jest Business Management. Wybieramy się jutro na dni otwarte do jednej ze, ze szkół. Ja osobiście skończyłam ten kierunek International Business Management, ja później zaczęłam drugi, w którym jest prawo. Ten kierunek także jest dostępny właśnie od tych miesięcy, żeby, żeby zacząć naukę. Czy, czy warto studiować Business Management? Jaką można pracę dostać po tym kierunku? Dowiecie się już jutro. Więc jeżeli chcecie obserwować ten kanał i dowiadywać się więcej na temat studiowania w Wielkiej Brytanii, na temat kierunków, jakich, jakie prace można wykonywać po tych kierunkach, to zapraszam do subskrypcji tego kanału, żebyście mogli dostawać powiadomienia, jeżeli pojawi się jakaś informacja na temat kierunku, które chcecie w przyszłości studiować. I oczywiście przypominam, że w Wielkiej Brytanii, jeżeli nastąpi Brexit, to ten intake wrześniowy może być ostatnim, kiedy możemy aplikować o pożyczki studenckie na pokrycie czesnego oraz kosztów życia, więc jeżeli myślicie o studiowaniu w Anglii, no to prawdopodobnie nie macie już za dużo czasu, ale do podjęcia decyzji, ale o tym w kolejnych nagraniach. Everybody, um, thank you for taking the time to come to DMU in the middle of or the beginning of January, cold, wet sort of day. You've taken the trouble to come here, so I've got to take, to take my time to give you a convincing message as to why you should choose DMU as the place to come to. Um, normally, I'll start off by saying, "Hello, I'm Neil Sheriff, and I've got my colleagues Denisha and Lauren with me to tell you all about this." and then go into the speech. But I want to go back to the very opening slide, which, which focuses on the TEF goal, the teaching and excellence, um, I forget the F central, anyway, teaching and excellence uh, fundamentals, um, which is how we have got to where we are today, and what, what is the, the message we're trying to convey to you. DMU has excellent teaching credentials. Uh, we have one of only, like, with the top 10% of universities, which have achieved TEF Gold. That's the highest award for teaching and excellence. And what that means is, although we are now a larger um, institution than we were before, a great deal more, uh, a great or larger student body, um, we don't treat in -birth students as a kind of mass production and education factory. Everybody is treated individually, and our programs, whilst they have uh, the cap capability of dealing with a large number of students, Each student has um, a series of individual programs and individual paths to take. So we tailor our quite simple programs and quite um, relatively few choices, but within those choices there's massive scope for individual um, planning. Okay, um, and that's done with both personal tutoring and, and individual subject tutoring, but also with the um, technology support. So you have a series of uh, access to a series of um, systems which give you the chance to tailor your own, tailor your own support, tailor your own um, studies, and to, to find your own way through and to become your own specialist. Okay, so let me move on. So now let's move on to business and management, which is what I'm here to do. So I'm talking about business and management. Denise will be talking about entrepreneurship and innovation. Um, and Laura will talk about the student experience. Um, so in business and management, you will now see a series of lists. I'm not going to spend a lot of time saying, I am reading the list. That's not really what you're here to see. You want to, you want to have some, some life to that. But these are the um, courses that we deliver, the, the, the programs. I'll be talking about business and management, international business, and very briefly, 
about global leadership. Um, I'll also cover the joint degrees, and then Denise will talk about innovation, uh, entrepreneurship and innovation, but that's in itself quite, a, that's a, it's 50% of the programs that we offer. Um, another big point to note, by the way, if you come to DMU, you can get a certificate of, um, of management. Um, we, we are, the, the degree is aligned to that, so you will leave not only with a degree, but a certificate for management. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about business and management first of all. Really important, the first bullet point, DMU is, is, is a quite an old institution, you know, it's, it's existed as Leicester Polytechnic and then DMU since 19, uh, the ni early 1990s, 92, it was founded as a democracy university. But in that time, it has a history of practical application as well as academic um, study. It's a combination of the two. And our uh, various programs and our modules are deeply rooted in practical application. Myself and Denisha and many of the staff here have experience in um, professional level, um, high level management in various industries, which we then bring to bear in the academic uh, side. So for example, me, I 